Well, another Phil interview and another confusing statement for the masses. Does Phil Spencer really think competition has no place in gaming or business altogether? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I'm not too proud to ask. All right, so what's going on here, man? All right, so Phil Spencer does a series. Well, he does one big interview with uh, GameSpot. They chop it up into several interviews. And over the next several uh, episodes of The Medicine, we'll be covering these. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably not all in order, man, because I'm going to be honest with you. There's only so much Phil Spencer bibble babble that I can handle. Y'all think I love covering this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I love covering it for y'all, but having to listen and absorb this man until he produces something it becomes a headache for me all right so again these interviews have been done with GameSpot. um they're talking about phil spencer and you know his take on gaming and what's coming with the scarlet bunch of other stuff if you haven't seen them go on GameSpot's uh site and and listen to them and you'll be intrigued or whatever the case may be but here's the backdrop y'all Okay, so we know that Phil Spencer and Xbox as in whole, no, 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 really Microsoft in most parts uh, in behalf of Xbox is on an apology tour, okay? You know, you had the unfortunate interview where Phil Spencer got smacked <laughs> by my man at Fortune Magazine, right? Then you had Bat Matt Booty who tried doing some backtracking from when he said, hey, you know, basically when he said, hey, you know, if people on PlayStation 1 Halo, they're going to get Halo. He, he he did some wordplay and made the waters a little bit more muddy, but big ups to my homie um, Dean Knox. You know what I'm saying? We've done some podcasts with him. You know, he's showing up on a lot of Z's content, some of my content, and he, you know, he put it perfectly. He said it was just an attempt to muddy the waters. I did, however, talk to the homie Will Sink of uh, Xbox Uncut on the prognosis. He said it's a sign that the, he, said, he said it's a good sign that they want to backtrack at all. So I, I, I agree with both of them. But with that being said, again, apology tour. Phil gets back smacked on the Fortune Magazine interview. Then you got Matt Booty backtracking. You know what I mean? whether you think it's a good thing or a bad thing. Now you have this, okay? You have this article that highlights Phil Spencer's belief in the place of competition, not only with games, but business in general. So I wanna read y'all the article. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Let's, let, let's, let's flip it over to the article side, y'all. Okay, so here is the article. Xbox is Phil Spencer does doesn't want to fight in your console war. <laughs> console wars, what are they good for? All right. Uh, and the story reads with Sony sitting out E3 2019. You know, so let me do this. Let me let me let me let me make this bigger for my audience. You know what I'm saying? Oops, oops. That didn't work. So y'all can see that. Okay, now y'all can see that. With Sony sitting out E3 2019, the common held uh, opinion was that this would be Microsoft's show to win. But according to Xbox head Phil Spencer, during an exclusive interview with GameSpot that took place after E3, he isn't interested in pitting Xbox against PlayStation at the show, nor does he think that the fan-fueled rivalry between the two companies does any good in general. He agrees that Sony and Microsoft compete on a technology level, but rejects the notion that there is a mean-spirited undercurrent spearheading the drive. To him, business isn't sport. It is different. <laughs> okay so again business isn't sport it is different to feel um the notion is absurd yes if you want to be technical gaming is not a sport but competition applies not only to sport 
It's a main pillar of business in the free market. That's how consumers get the best products and services because of the sheer meaning of the word best. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is, if you go by uh, uh, Webster's Dictionary, the definition of best is, number one is excelling all others. An example they use, the best student in class. So here's what I got to say, y'all. Don't fall for this author authoritarian <laughs> approach to gaming. You know what I'm saying? Well, may maybe authoritarian is too strong of a word, but you get my point. Xbox essentially wants an audience that does not hold their content to inequality. They just want you to relish in their real product. Community. Phil and company just want gamers to relish and that, that grew up on uh, and thirsted for AAA content to wake up and realize that what they really wanted was a nicer community. <laughs> and to that I say, I'm up. Hey listener, are you up? Yeah, I think you are. Phil, I think we're fine. I think Xbox better wake up and go back to the drawing board. Content is what got you here. When we go all the way back to the Seamus uh, Blackley, all the way up to the Peter Moore days when it was in his glory. Lack of content got you in this mess right now. And providing that specific content that your hardcore brass is thirsting for is the only way to get you out of it. Period. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because, like I always tell you, you can come with me or come at me. It does not matter to your boy. With that being said, if you did like the content that you heard, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, check out our content on the PNTS network that I do. Uh, the show, that is, with um, Dirk Griggity, Snow Bunny, Nethos is called Scrampunks. Check it out on Dirk Griggity's channel. Check out my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. We are here doing the damn thing. And FN Productions, you know what I'm saying, is in full effect with the best damn podcast, period. Check that out on Next Gen 720's channel. And check out that Patreon, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Links are below. And last but not least, yo, check your boy out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture. Links are below to that. That is my content on twitch.tv forward slash mightymost2000. And with that being said, yo, keep your head on the swivel, man. I don't know how much more of this I can take, man, but I'm doing it for y'all. I'm taking it for the team. With that being said, y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.